Why is it that under this Minnis administration, Bahamian female politicians are constantly attacked when they stand up for their rights? This reminds me of the prayer that Jewish rabbis, who thought that they were better than others, would recite when they said, Blessed art thou, O God, for not making me a Gentile, a slave, or a woman, since Gentile slaves and women were denied equal access to all of the temple, thereby limiting their opportunity to fully practice their faith. This caused the Apostle Paul to say that there is neither Gentile or Jew, slave or free, male or female, for we are all one in Christ Jesus. And at a time when we want to have one Bahamas, regardless of gender, race, or family background, here comes Dr. Minnis and crew with how they treat Bahamian women. First of all, he's limited the number of women allowed to run for political office when only four of 39 candidates or 10.25% were female, the lowest among any political party in the Bahamas at the last election. And if 10% isn't bad enough, he then further limited their opportunity when only one of 18 cabinet ministers were female. Although they account for over 50% of the Bahamian population. And not only are women limited politically, but they're also attacked when these male FNM politicians believe that they should be controlled, regardless of whether the women are FNM, PLP, DNA, or otherwise. With Loretta Butler Turner, the late Levan Bannister publicly admitted that Dr. Minnis paid him to attack her. With Glennis Hannah Martin, the Speaker of the House, House and Moultrie, continues to abuse his power by treating her less favorable than her male counterparts. With Arinthia Komalafe, without providing evidence, National Security Minister Marvin Dames appeared to have smeared her when he alleged that she had her members injure several police officers outside of the House of Assembly. And with Maria Daxon and Pat DeVoe, a certain paid FNM social media commentator attacked Maria by referring to her as the beast in the song Beauty and the Beast, and Pat regarding her weight. But with all of these no good lousy male MPs, why in the 21st century are female politicians being judged by these men based on their looks or their weight when they should be judged on how well they represent their constituents? Because although slavery was outlawed 160 years ago, unfortunately, unfair treatment towards female politicians has flourished under this minister administration.